the song Consolers of the Lonely. I think it was started off with uh, three different songs. That's the way I remember it. Yeah, it was definitely, yeah, it started off as uh, kind of a three different ideas that kind of, once we were making the record, we decided to make one idea. One super song. It, uh, it worked, it, we, were, we were playing one and then the, the next one we, we went into it and the, the, the tempo made sense. And so we, we combined those three uh, and it just turned into something that was so large, it felt like it had to be at the beginning of the album. We had it was the album opener. Yeah, it's still something we love to play live now. We did demos in my rehearsal garage. At the time I had an empty garage. We had just all moved to Nashville and uh, I had this empty garage that was supposed to be like a painting studio from the people who owned it before. So we were rehearsing in there and we were rehearsing in the living room. I had no furniture in the house, so we were rehearsing in the living room as well. And we ran out and bought a PA yeah. and like totally like DIY style set up our stuff and started rehearsing and writing. Conversations getting done. Storytellers is, is, the, is the word, yeah, because that's what raconteurs means, it's great storyteller, it's a French word, so, uh, and that's what you're sort of doing when you're, you're painting, you're sculpting, you're writing a song, you're, you're telling a story and you're using different tricks like melody and rhythm to get people to be interested in that story. Haven't seen the sun in weeks, my skin is getting pale. It felt really, uh, you know, there's these words, whatever words you want to use, like it felt epic sort of sounding to us, it was big, it was large, and it had, uh, you know, it's something you couldn't put in the middle of an album. You know, you had to start your album with it or end your album with it. When we first debuted it, I remember when we first played it the first time live. I don't know what the theater was, but I remember people responding to it immediately, uh, which felt good. I think we kind of thought we should have released it as a single. Yeah. We, we didn't release it as a single. We named the album basically after it, you know, like a version of it. But yeah, we never made that song like a big single other than what it was. But the crowds have always loved that song. That song too, I think, really features all the band members really well. Mm -hmm. As far as like you know, there's bass solo and just like you know, fast drum fills and guitar solo and you know these big vocal parts and it's cool. 